inspiration is perishable, act on it immediately. Any ID is expirable, act on it immediately. Even if, inconveniently, the result will be invaluable. Ignore society, ignore practical, embrace variety, become magical. Too many ideas, too many passions, but few release, too focused on imperfection. So where to begin, where to start? I can't know, it's in your heart. Pick the one most acute, it will be the fun pursuit. The multi-potentialite, the person with too many ideas, the individual with many passions. I have a question to you. Do you really believe that in order to earn money, you have to niche down. You have been taught all your life to become a specialist, to focus on a career path, to choose subjects at school, to decide if you want to study apples or oranges. You have been so conditioned to believe that you have to choose. Let me say this, one to one, man to man or man to women, human to human, you don't have to choose. You can do everything and anything, what you want, where you want, and when it comes. I might be the only person in the world who will tell you this truth, but you are the only person who can give yourself the permission. Don't find a niche, don't create one. Become rich, become one of one. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 40 people, and I started making videos in 2012. And I'm showing you how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom, and find peace in my life. And here's the truth. Finding a niche will limit you. Creating a niche will limit you. You will imprison yourself in an invisible cage. You don't see it, but you do feel it. It is the cause of that inner rage. Right now, I assume you have picked a niche or maybe two. And I'm asking you, haven't you realized that this niche is limiting you in many ways? I don't say that with the assumption it is true for you. I'm asking you to ask it yourself, to see if it is true for yourself. And when you ask that, maybe ask this question too. How much would you create if you didn't limit yourself by that inner voice that is unpromptingly telling you to focus on your niche instead and neglect the idea that comes up? How much would you create if you didn't neglect that idea, those ideas? Truly, how much would you create and how deep in a flow state would you feel every time? Escape the golden cage so you can finally be fully engaged for once in your life completely immersed, smiling at the niche, not knowing they're cursed. Just expose yourself and your books will be on everyone's shelf. Because true artists are rare, the world craves their content. In Dutch we say, when the need is greatest, salvation is near. Maar alleen als je hard genoeg rent. So run away from the crowd. Just give yourself permission. It is allowed. Let me tell you a quick story. I grew one of my YouTube channels to over 5,000 subscribers in six months. And one particular video did really well. It got over 850,000 views as we speak. And that video is about religion. And if you know anything about YouTube, then you know that it pushes a new video to two buckets, your current subscribers and new people. And if your current subscribers don't like the topic, they won't click on it. The result is that your click-through rate drops lower than the bottom of the sea. And YouTube stops the flood of impressions to new fish in the water. So in short, the closer you can get to the topic that your current subscribers like, the better your video will perform. And I found myself having over 5,000 subscribers of people who are religious, love religion, want to watch religion. So I tried it. I made three or four videos about religion and they performed great from a views perspective, but not from an artistic perspective. I made a compromise. I created it to satisfy the algorithm, neglecting my internal satisfaction. And I got rewarded with eyes masked as a prize but let's stop the lies, let's speak the truth and get back to creating art that does energize. Creative freedom doesn't have a price, it's not for sale. Those who sell out will die with regrets, wasted their life due to this one compromise. So I stopped making videos for external results and I started to create for internal motives. Now I hear your question, that's nice Jordan, but what about the money? I need to eat. I understand, it's a fair question. So what's the truth there? Well, you can be strategic about it and without giving you a to-do list or a hack or a seven-step checklist that you won't follow. I will just share what works for me, what I do, and maybe you get inspired by it, maybe not. So my creative process almost always starts with writing down the topics that 
come up at that moment. They are usually my own problems, my own questions, or my own explorations. Just things I want to explore. Then I search those topics on YouTube and I draft some titles, thumbnails, all based on the outlier videos. So the ones that have the most amount of views in comparison to someone's subscriber count. And then when I do that for enough time, sometimes very short, because I know, okay, this is, this is what I want to create about today. Um, and sometimes it takes a bit more time, but I pick the one that I naturally gravitate towards. So if I lost you here, remember what I just said. I ideate already based on the things that are in my head, that I want to explore, that I want to find answers to, that I want to solve. So this has nothing to do external or very little, because you can argue everything is external for that sake. And then when I start writing, when it is finished, here comes the interesting part. I create two video variations at least. So two different videos and I post them on two different accounts, whether it's YouTube or the other social platforms. One which is niche and one which is general or more general. This doesn't only allow me to upload more, but especially to A-B test and see which audience resonates the most. But the most important part is that I can always create what I want to create or maybe better said, what I want to explore on that day, what I want to find answers to, because I can always upload it to an account. And yes, this could mean that you create seven YouTube channels, that you have six Instagram accounts or five WordPress blogs. Who cares? Create them. Just because everyone only has one account doesn't mean you have to. I mean, if you would listen to everyone, wouldn't you be unhappy too? Besides that, a small side note as well. Have you noticed that every time when you create something that you really want to create, that it is both way faster and you lose yourself in a moment? But every time you create something you don't really want to create, it takes a lot more time. So from that perspective, you can create much more. Anyways, just because everyone tells you that if you chase two rabbits, you will not catch either one, doesn't mean you have to bow down to this and accept this as truth. In fact, let me ask you from a different perspective. What if this so-called rabbit that you're trying to catch is not money, success, status, but that the rabbit that you truly want is the rabbit who has the freedom to eat grass wherever he wants. So what I'm telling you is that if you change the wrong rabbit, you might catch it, but forget to see that you got stuck in its hole and you may never find the true rabbit you want in your life. So create what you want when it comes and strategically post it to the right accounts. And naturally you will follow your innate curiosity. And just create those things for its own sake. What you end up is, is the freedom to create anything always be able to post it and you will be surprised with the results. Why is it, you may ask, why? Because when you create things for their own sake, they are often your best work and the world will reward you with their admiration and money. And you rewarded yourself with freedom from wasting time. But remember, after you stop watching this video, that society is loud, family is persuasive, social media is tempting, quiet the noise to find the peace. Big disclaimer, nothing in this video that I said should be followed because radical self-exploration, experimentation is the only way. Never believe anyone, just find out for yourself. And to those who still think you have to choose one passion, one thing, one job, one career path, whatever one thing, I end with this. To that person, I end with this. It's not distraction, it's a reaction to the art in one's heart. Don't try to be smart, just depart into the sky and say goodbye to practical you. Create what it is that inspires you. One day it will come, the money, the revenue, but not a single moment wasted in your walk on this creative avenue. I know I didn't go deep into the practical things, like the systems we use, the automations we run, the people I've hired, the tools I use. So subscribe if you want to see how I practically grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom without compromising on my inner peace. And only the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon.